Paramount, do we own Pluto TV too? Even we're not quite sure. Up in the sky, look! It's a bird! Nice try, I'm not falling for that again. Yes, Superman, the man with all the powers of a building super. He will receive your call to repair the dishwasher, then three days later pop in and blame your detergent. Electric Earthquake, as featured in the recent Disney Plus series Muppets Earthquake. Oh, come on, who broke the credits? It was difficult to make this arrangement after Action Comics and Superman Magazine's contentious divorce. It's going down. I'm Sammy Timberg. You'd better move. You'd better dance. Faster than a speeding bullet. They really got ahead of that Matrix bit. Trains and guns, the only things that worked at opening day Diz. Hang on, we've already done this bit. Superman can only be summoned via welding. Superman! Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. He looks so pissed because as a reporter, he was just unverified on Twitter. Now it's always once upon a time in New York City. Yes, the city, home of the world's greatest establishing shots. Meanwhile, at the old Huntington Beach Rubies. Hey, I don't see any newt playing flute or carp playing harp. Uh-oh, it's Voyage to the Iron Reef. Keep an eye out for any crabs the size of a cow. Ah, if only the guy from Double Indemnity was here to tell me about the man-made miracle that is these rubber hoses. Well, this tea's been steeping long enough. Inspector Gadget? Those stairs lead to the Onceler's office. Boingy, boingy, boingy. Soon budget cuts will have them down to the weekly planet, or the monthly, or just occasionally planet. And I still say Manhattan rightfully belongs to my people. Oh boy. But just what do you expect us to do about it? You have a newspaper? Publish the truth. Have the island vacated immediately. It's fantastic. Why, that's ridiculous. Ridiculous? Maybe modern science will make you think differently. Well, this is the first Superman villain I'm rooting for, so that's something. I've never heard anything so absurd. You know, from the look in his eyes, I'd almost believe he was in earnest. No, he's just a harmless crank. His people literally built the Empire State Building. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. So a villain in a superhero story whose viewpoint is correct, but whose methods go too far. Eh, I can't imagine anyone will ever try that again. Bum, ba, da, ba. Oh my god, she has a reflection? This whole time I thought Lois was a vampire. Come ahead, Miss Lane. You wouldn't want to miss this story, I'm sure. Well, I guess this depiction is not quite as racist as other cartoons. There's no turning back now. Has Atlantis been under Manhattan this whole time? You'd think someone would have noticed. Also, not the main issue, but these cartoons just take place in regular old Manhattan now? The secret lab has a spectator chair. That's preparation. Well, at least they're painting him as far more polite to Lois than the villains usually are. Oh, God damn it! Just a precautionary measure. Unnecessarily restrictive seating? What is this, Universal Studios? My god, he stole the decorative organ from an old-timey movie house! Now to begin his Captain Nemo impression... It's time for some gauge porn! 
Well, somebody splurged at Savi's workshop. Man, interocitors come in the craziest shapes these days. And set the built-in egg timer. Why is the periscope Mary Poppins' umbrella handle? Good thing I got the DTV converter on this old set. Yeah, when does this get interesting? Lane, get ready for the greatest story of your career. Do all the bad guys have a manual on how to act when Lois stops by? Oh no, he's bug zapping Manhattan. One little spark is racing along the ocean floor. Dun da 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 da. Boy, the Fleischers hated bridges. Ooh, the building's less rubbery than it used to be. Come on, Kent. Let's get out of here. But why? Eh, been there. This looks like a job for Superman. So I'll just take my jacket off more casually than Mr. Rogers. The end. This time, rubble only stopped me for a few seconds. Ugh, buildings being destroyed in Manhattan. How many different ways can a cartoon age poorly? Pinocchio! You'd think the underwater wires would have electrocuted someone by now. Well, whenever there's wire and explosives, the only thing to do is start yanking randomly. Oof, right in the Super Balls. Okay, that cable did that on purpose. Happy New Year! Pull the poppers! Oh, this is why you always click eject before unplugging an external hard drive. Oh yeah, that's gonna take some industrial strength sealant there. That's a real gradual waterboard. Oh, that's why you always check the wattage on your bulbs. Everything's blowing up and the power's going haywire, but the elevator still works. Yeah, well, this sucks. Restrained and wet, it is Universal Studios. Superman, slightly stronger than a vacuum. Yeah, I can fly, but climbing's more fun. Uh, a girl is still down there. A girl? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I gotta go see myself a girl. And with Superman out of the way, he can jumpstart a car. Then he closes and reopens the box, and the dynamite is replaced by a beautiful assistant. Guess I could have saved time by not escaping this hole. I have nothing to say to you, Lois. He just wants to blow up his lab before it can be taken over by Gyro Gear Loose. This was an even odder than usual episode of Sea Lab 2021. Well, lifting a villain from below is a change of pace. And now we're just starting newsies. Well, except for all the buildings that were already damaged, but hey. Oh, it's a time lapse from rough sketch to finished art. No, Lois, the old island looks just as good as ever. Clark, you're facing Jersey. Thanks to Superman. Superman will return and continue to uphold the status quo because that's the American way. Well, that was certainly tone deaf at best. They could have just had the electric earthquake caused by yet another underdeveloped mad scientist character who had something to prove, but no, they just had to give the villain a legitimate grievance, a legitimate grievance that the production team was ill-equipped to tackle, and then have that villain designed by a white artist and voiced by a white actor. Sad part is, I wish I could say that that's the most racist these Superman cartoons would get. It can be challenging to find humor in situations like this, which is why I appreciate my patrons who join me on a few live streams, watching this short and finding the places for jokes amidst the general frustration we all shared with this short. 
normally this is where I'd plug my Patreon, but given the fact that this short villainized an indigenous person who rightfully wants their land back, I think instead I should plug the Land Back Movement, working to restore indigenous sovereignty to the lands that were taken from them. It's a movement that deserves attention, and contrary to what stodgy old animators in the 40s may have felt, it does not actually involve blackmailing the settlers of the land with mad science. Next week we'll have another riff, an educational short that has nothing to do with any DC Comics characters. Well, except for the short's name, but we'll get to that. And until then, this is Dave, signing off.